hello welcome back so today's question is what is reapers and is reapers worth running so reapers has actually been around a while but if you're a new player and you're seeing this in the chat at the bottom you know people calling out for reapers especially like when it's the afternoon time people are getting on for the reset reapers is a daily dungeon that you can run it has more challenges to it and it has little modifiers in it that will take away things to make it more challenging like your artifacts your mounts sometimes you don't aren't allowed any revives so if you die you know in a boss fight you're stuck at the campfire it doesn't mean you're going to get kicked out of the dungeon. It just means that you can't be picked up by a scroll or a pl another player. Reapers does have a big importance. Not only are you getting loot at the end of a dungeon that you're running, which Reapers still gives you your chest at the end, but it also gives you a Reapers mark. You can get one daily on your character and you can turn this currency in for different items with the vendor here that's kind of hiding in the map down here. Um, not very social, clearly. When you talk to him, you get this menu of options that you can purchase. So at first glance, you see that there's pretty cool rewards in here. If you're a new player, there's some things in here though that I want you to be forewarned about. They are not the value of a Reaper's Mark. I hold Reaper's Marks as something that you want to use when you it's kind of something that's more expensive to get access to. Now you have the option of getting small things like mount upgrade tokens, companion upgrade tokens, three press wards, 25 trade bars, genies gifts. So this top five here are things that I personally would recommend you never get from a Reaper's Mark. There's a few reasons why, but the big reason now is that this is the most common drops in dungeons now. These things drop constantly in your regular skirmish queues, your dungeons, your trial queues. These are so accessible just by running content using the free chest the, or the skeleton key chest, anything. Um, and just kind of re-rolling until you get to it or it can, sometimes just the first thing there. Anyway, long story short, these are very easy, accessible items in the game. Um, and even though you need a lot of mount tokens and companion tokens, even pres wards. Uh, all of that is like, to me personally, I would feel the first thing I would tell a new player to do is not get that. Okay. So get those out of the way. Don't, <laughs> don't grab any of those. When you go down to the next bit, you'll see the option of a legendary mount choice pack, which are all account bound mounts. You get to choose one of them. This is a good value if you're have a new account and you're needing something um, that is account wide for multiple characters you have to do reapers 30 days in order to get this so this is something to keep in mind 30 days worth of reapers runs in order to get this um, another thing though is legendary mounts are actually not that expensive anymore usually if you run your daily queues you get about 100k rough ad a day just doing your very basic stuff. You actually can at this point just keep refining your rough AD for like a week and be able to afford these mounts. So I don't think that these are even worth getting out of here and saving up for it because you can get a lot of these mounts for only a few hundred K and that's just like a week worth of and maybe not even. That's if you get unlucky selling things or anything like that. Like you can just get these for very cheap now <laughs> compared to what they used to be. So even though they're legendary and they look like, you know, you get a lot of options here, you definitely can skip over this in my opinion, okay? And that goes with the companion choice pack as well. Now the companion choice pack can be a little bit different because these are still expensive and a lot of these are really good for your character. I mean, the Alpha Compi for a healer is great for power. The Tame Velociraptor, everybody wants a Raptor now because people are, are getting onto the idea that having a Raptor is gonna give everyone more power in the group. Uh, the Batiri is good for DPS on boss damage. Um, it's also a good single target boss companion for damage too, having it actually summoned. So there's some good, I mean, the green slime, it can be good for tanks. The face spider is good. I mean, there's some good companions in here. So if you're going to save up for one of these two, I'd recommend the companion choice pack. They're account wide as well. So if you get it, you'll have it on all of your characters. I think that th this is actually a good option. But again, you're going to have to wait 30 days. So you can always check the auction house to see what the value of some of these are. Not all of these companions are, are useful. And remember, this is 30 days to get just one of these. So 
might want to check and see. On to the Epic Mount Collar Choice Pack. This is such a scam. <laughs> Do not use your Reaper Marks on these because these are so cheap on the auction house. Uh, so please, please, please. Do not purchase these, I beg you. Uh, we're gonna just move on from this and pretend you never saw these. You can get these on the auction house really cheap. Do not get scammed by this, this Reaper's guy here, absolutely. I wonder what the lore is behind this guy. I need to look this guy up. We're gonna do a background check at some point. Okay, and then at the very bottom, hiding down here at the very bottom, is this, on the left side, you have the biggest scamity scam scam of all time from this guy. I mean, look at him. And on the right, you have probably the biggest value to your account sitting right there. Okay, so the Shard of Empowerment is something that just drops all the time. It is like always on the ground as much as lockboxes. You can get these really easily. Do not waste your Reaper's Marks on this ever. This is about as useless, if not more useless, than the Epic Mountain Collar Pack. So... Do not purchase these, okay? Now, everything is just my opinion, but the Shard of Greater Empowerment is the biggest value from this Reaper's guy of all of them. Um, main reason I think that is because you need a lot of these in order to get your mount collar up, and they're valued around 70k now, 70 to 80k each, and purchasing them might not be too challenging, but getting them is just better They'll add up so much faster. I think it's the most value in it. You need a good amount to get up every collar. This is for upgrading your collars, which is a lot of item level and something that you can get passively just doing your daily reapers. My overall idea of this is that you definitely want to get the Shard of Greater Empowerment. If you are a new account and you need an account-wide legendary companion or you just want one of these companions, this is the second best thing I think that you wanna, you wanna actually save up for. Um, to me, these are the two most valuable things. You might be able to make use of things like Genie's Gifts and stuff, but they drop very frequently in the game now and something that you can farm just running like Master of the Hunt or Dread Legion or any skirmish over and over again, the chances of getting a Genie's Gift is pretty high but not a legendary companion choice pack. Uh, so that's something that's good to save for if you're a new player. Uh, but the Shard of Greater Empowerment is, I think, the best value in this list. Now, this is just my opinion um, based off of playing the game for so long, seeing what's dropping in every piece of content that I've ran so far. The Greater Empowerment Shards have been dropping even more, which is great. It's why you want to buy even more of these every day with your reapers marks you want to be getting these as well because you can add up pretty quickly now with all the drops in order to like upgrade collars faster which is something good that they changed because it took so long that i even didn't want to get my collars up so <laughs> look into getting this now i guess also it's important to note that reapers isn't like just extremely simple but you can get there at lower levels and you can get through almost all of them. I think Mini Coins Bank Heist might be one of the most annoying ones. Um, obviously, Ravenloft is, is long and can be annoying, especially if you don't really know it very well, but you can kind of brute force your way through all the Reaper's challenges. Um, you're just probably going to want to have a little bit more on your character, so make sure you're getting through like your adventures and your campaigns and getting some gear and stuff before you're just kind of jumping in there. But once you do start, this priest here, I'm going to look up his background. He's going to get a background check for me. This priest here, though, is your currency guy for these Reaper's Marks. Greater Shard of Empowerment, I think, is your highest value. And like I said, the Companion Choice Pack could be another good option. So I hope this has helped you guys out today. I'll see you guys later.